Sorry about your. Sorry about your cats here with another Steam Link video. And this time, we're gonna get a steering wheel to work. Does it work? Yes, yes, it does. It works by using Virtual Here, which is something they added in the Steam Link beta build. Uh, I'll show you how to turn that on, set it up, and we go from there. So, All right, let's get started. Uh, head to virtualhere.com and you're gonna wanna click on Windows, OS X, Linux, and Android right here. Bam. Uh, you scroll down and pick the flavor you want. Uh, you have Windows here, 32-bit, 64-bit. You have OS X and you have Linux. I'm gonna download one and do, 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 do. So now that you have it, you're going to want to cut it out. I mean, you could just leave it in your downloads folder if you really want to, but <laughs> you cut it out, go to your system drive, make a new folder called virtual here, paste it, and there you go. All right, I'm going to hook up the Steam Link dongle. Bam. Start this up. All right, now that the Steam Link is started up, let's go to the settings system and make sure that you're using the beta build down here just enable that USB sharing now that you enabled it back the blank up now we're gonna hook up our steering wheel so now let's open up virtual here Now you should be able to see the Steam Link and you should be able to see the steering wheel or whatever device you're trying to hook up. So double click on the device you wanna hook up. It should say in use by you. And you're okay to close it out because it runs in the background. Now with the controller, connect to your computer. Now, <laughs> if you'll notice, I can't get it up. Why is that? Well. It thinks a key or something is getting stuck. So the solution to that, hold the gas pedal down. That'll bring you up. Move the steering wheel to the right, which will bring you right. <laughs> and then hit square to confirm, or whatever the button is for your steering wheel. The last step to get the steering wheel to work is to disconnect the controller. Now, we can do whatever we want. So it does work, and you know, the vibration works, all the settings work, everything seems to work with it. Let me crash into something and it's going great. Thanks for watching. Be sure to, be sure to subscribe or like if this was any bit useful.